it's not that I don't like Lord of the Rings. You know, it's not that, okay. It's, it is that I don't like Lord of the Rings. You know, I don't like Lord of the Rings. But like, we, but it's not. It's which Lord of the Rings that I don't like that's important. It's not that I don't like Tolkien. Tolkien's fine. I, I haven't read everything because sometimes his writing doesn't always agree with me. Um, but I read The Hobbit and I've read part of the Lord of the Rings trilogy, but not the whole thing. Um, he's fine. That's very creative. He's got great stuff going on there. But my problem isn't with Tolkien Lord of the Rings. My problem is with Jackson. Lord of the Rings. And it's not because it's not accurate to the books. I don't care about that. It's because it's a bad movie. And it's not a bad movie in the sense that it's not fun to watch. Because it is, it is fun to watch. But it's, it tells the story badly. And, uh, and what I mean by this is it's, it's good directing, good acting, great effects, and all sorts of good things that I'm going to lose this mission again. But it's in the wrong format. Um... There's too much content in Lord of the Rings for a movie format. And a three-hour movie, if your movie is three hours long, and it's not amazing, if every second of that movie isn't like the best thing I've ever seen, you fucked up. Your movie is bad. Because the ideal length for a movie... I think I'm going to abandon this mission. I'm never going to get it. Um, the ideal length for a movie is about 90 minutes. If you can't tell your story in about 90 minutes, you might be in the wrong format. Unless that story is amazing the whole way through. You know, unless that... that in, if, if I need time in your three-hour movie, then your movie is too long. You need to cut things. You can you can have a little bit of lag in a shorter movie because people will tolerate the shortness. This is it's more of a movie-making issue than a Lord of the Rings is bad issue. It's like this niggle I have, but... The best example I can give, I, when, it, when I first got this opinion, I didn't have an example to explain this to people. Uh, but now I do, and I think it's a really good example. Lord of the Rings is Game of Thrones. Not in story or really theming or anything like that. But imagine if they took all the content of Game of Thrones, all the betrayal, all the story, you know, the, all, everything you've got in Game of Thrones, and you said, each book we only have two hours, maybe two and a half, to tell the entire book. It would suck, because there's so much content there, and and not really enough time to spend with those characters for that. It just wouldn't be good. It's it's much better suited to a miniseries, and that's exactly how I feel about Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings should have been a HBO miniseries that went for like ten years, or something. You know, it shouldn't have been three movies. That's, you know... And, and likewise, The Hobbit should have just been one movie. I mean, gosh, you could make such a good 90-minute movie out of The Hobbit. Like, with, with you know, with Jackson at the helm. But you gotta, you got to edit him. you got to force him to be concise. But, I mean, it, it just wouldn't work. Lord of the Rings... I mean, not Lord of the Rings. Game of Thrones doesn't work in a, in a movie. You know, it, it, there's too much going on. And so I don't know why anyone would think Lord of the Rings works in a movie. If, if they would believe that... You know, you would have a worse version of uh, I am in your debt. Of the whole Game of Thrones story. So I don't know. That's that's sort of how I feel about the movies. I think. I mean, it's not like they're not good movies. They're they're definitely something fun to watch. But but like, I just think if this was a mini series, it would have been so much better, and I wouldn't have hated it. Because I can never watch them again. I can't watch... I could watch them all one time and enjoy them that one time. And every other time I watch them, I can't get through it. Because it just takes too long. The Two Towers and Return of the King. Like, half of those movies are battles where nothing on screen really moves the story forward. It's just like, look at this cool fighting. That doesn't move the story forward, though. And if everything in your movie isn't moving the story forward... Uh, it's, uh, I don't know. It's, it's, so I'm really nitpicky and it's a super... No one agrees with me about this opinion. Whoa, I didn't know you could slide on ropes. Um, but yeah, in The Hobbit in particular, I appreciate that they're trying to add in the Sermillion and the other the other uh, Tolkien lore. Um, but I think it's definitely a worse movie for it. It's a worse movie for bringing Legolas back into it. Um, it's a worse movie for adding a, 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 a dwarf-elf romantic relationship that's not necessary. Um, I don't know. I, I'm very picky about storytelling. I think you really have to, yeah, everything you do has to be important or dramatic in some way. Not necessarily dram dramatic, but it has to, you know, it's like, the, I'm, I'm not going to necessarily spoil this, but if you've ever read, um, everyone I've talked to pretty much universally agrees that the last chapter, the last Harry Potter book, the epilogue, is terrible. Why is it terrible? It's terrible because there's no conflict in the scene. Nothing's happening. It's just like, here's Harry doing a thing that has no bearing on anything that ever happened before 
or ever happened again. It's like it's like if you took a look at my Sunday afternoon. There's, no, there's nothing going on at that point in my life, so it's not a very interesting thing to watch. And uh, and so I think that that applies to all story. There's there's technically conflict in a lot of the Lord of the Rings battles. You know, there's action going on, but the context of that isn't important. Like. I just killed this orc, and it was interesting to me because I'm playing the video game. But if there was this scene of me killing these two guys in the middle of a larger narrative, there would be very little context for it, um, and it wouldn't be very good. Uh, I, it's hard to have a discussion. We should have a podcast about it, and we should get Jake on it because he really cares about Lord of the Rings. It's hard to have a discussion about my feelings about movie making and Lord of the Rings without a counterpoint, because if I'm just talking to the camera, it's too one-sided. It's too unfair. Um, and it's 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 also like difficult because I don't have a passion for the series like a lot of people do, and so I talk really dispassionately about it, and so I I have this dismissive view. It's not even objective because it's a little dismissive, you know. So it's 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 not fair. Whereas you get like when I talk to Jake, he's not fair either because he cares and loves the series so much that it's um, that his opinion is skewed by that. So it's kind of. It's hard to have objective discussions about stuff like that. You know, it's... I mean, no one should not watch Lord of the Rings because of me. Uh, you know, my opinion is never going to be strong to say don't watch it. You should definitely watch it. There's so much great stuff in those movies. Uh, I just think as a whole package, it could be a cleaner, tighter, better thing than it was. And as is, I'll, I have no motivation to ever watch it again. And it's never going to be one of my favorite movies or series. You know, I, I loved watching them one time. And that's, I think that's the problem. Whereas there's other movies like, my favorite movie is Back to the Future. And one of the reasons my favorite movie is Back to the Future is because it's, it's very, it's very, uh, watch the making of, watch the making of Lord of the Rings. Um, that would be really interesting from a movie person's perspective. I love movies, so I might, I might think that's really fascinating. I, um, but I don't, I don't know about the storyline. Um, yeah, no, I can see that. But I mean, I really like, I like Lord of the Rings because, well, not Lord of the Rings. Back to the Future is like my favorite movie. Uh, because it's a really tight movie on its own. It's, it's not designed to have the sequels, even though it does. And the sequels are so well put together, they feel like they belong. Um, but it's only, it's, it's, a, it's a normal movie length for the time period. Pretty short, so it's it take hours to watch. And it doesn't need hours to watch. Um, the story's tight, it's funny, it hits all the right notes, it, it follows a very good story arc. It's, I don't know, I think it's a very clean movie, and so it's one of the reasons I like it. Also, I'm obsessed with time travel. Um, oh my gosh, look at that army of orcs run away. Um, I was going somewhere with this. Oh, also, but like, it's the perfect length. Now, if you imagine, if Lord of the Rings was three hours, I mean, not Lord of the Rings, yeah, I'm bad at movie names. Now, Back to the Future, I love it as the movie it is now, 90 minutes. Imagine if that movie was three hours long. That would be a really bad movie. It would be too much movie for what was there. And that's the other reason I don't like Lord of the Rings by Peter Jackson, is because I don't like what it's done uh, to the movie industry. It, it, it popularized the three-hour film, and that was okay for Fellowship of the Ring. You know, it was exciting and different and new. You know, I didn't I didn't really have a problem with that at the time. Um, I, I, you know, I, actually, I think Fellowship's great. Fellowship is the one movie I can rewatch. I have rewatched Fellowship several times. I can't bother with the other two. Um, that is all you need to know. But so Fellowship. Um, started a trend though it started this three hour trend and this three hour trend has ruined other movies and if you look at one of Disney's biggest flops in the last year um, The Lone Ranger it's my personal opinion that it failed because of Lord of the Rings because Lord of the Rings standardized a three hour movie every movie has to be an epic so this guy's really creepy I'm sorry I just I, that really took me out of there uh, anyway I, oh, um, it popularized the three-hour epic, right? So Disney's like, we got to make this movie a big epic because big epics are what this is all about. We made the last, you know, two uh, movies with Johnny Depp, the Pirates movies, really long, and that would be great. Three-hour movies must be what makes a movie good, right? And no, 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 no. And so the storyline and acting and sets and everything in in The Lone Ranger aren't bad, but the movie, and yeah, anybody who's watched the movie, they say this. I haven't actually watched the movie, so I'm kind of pulling this out of my ass, but, but from what I understand, everyone who watches says, 
it was just too long. If it wasn't so long, it would have been a pretty good movie. So think of it as another analogy, is uh, Wild Wild West is another pretty short movie. And it's a stupid movie, but it's fun and enjoyable because it, it just lasts just enough. Just enough time to enjoy that world and its stupidness, not think about it too much. It doesn't linger on things you don't care about. Whereas a movie like um, uh, Lone Ranger does. You know, it, it's too long. I also think Avatar, which is a stupid movie and I don't even like it, um, would have been better served as a shorter movie. You, you know, if you don't need to spend that much time in these worlds, three hours is not a good movie standard. To me for 